labeled it so I know which way it goes forward on this thing. There were just four screws, one in each corner holding the, the top on. Um, now that I've got that off, I can sand this down and get it ready for paint. Sorry, that's a little close. I am going to be drilling holes in this so that I can mount uh, my drill press and my uh, grinder. By way of introduction, I am doing a file cabinet makeover, making this into a functional toolbox, storage box, whatever for my garage. These things are fairly easy to find. During the pandemic, a lot of offices are closing. Businesses are going to paperless. They're not storing files like they used to be. So I got this on Facebook Marketplace for $30. They were asking 45. I showed up, the bottom drawer's a little bit rough pulling in and out. I negotiated with them, got them down to 30. They helped me load it up. It's super heavy. I don't know exactly how much the thing weighs, but it's pretty heavy. Solid steel with a solid, that's not a solid wood. It's a, well, it's a veneer. I'm sure it's particle board or something, but it's super heavy as well. I've got this sanded down prep for paint. I might try my hand at kind of like a fake patina. So I bought a bunch of different colors of spray paint in the rust colored categories. Uh, browns, oranges those type of things. Never done anything like that before, but worst case scenario, sand it down, paint it red, right? Doesn't hurt to try. So at this point, I've got rust reformer sprayed on anything that had bare metal showing. So there's a great big scratch going down the side right there. So I just kind of hit the edge of everything. And then I went all the way around the entire base because the base will be exposed to the most moisture sitting over there on the cement. But I gotta let that dry before I can do anything else with it. This Get a little closer look at what we got. That gloss will go away because we have several layers of flat paint in there as well. And some satin. But when I paint my bright red over the top and then sand through, I'm hoping to be able to pull through some of those various rusty colors. Looks kind of cool though. So off camera, I added a bunch more spray paint, just in random layers, so that when I sand down through, I can reveal lots of different colors in different layers. So I went extra thick around the corners of places, uh, corners of the, the different drawers, etc. down low in the corners. But rattle can. We're going gloss apple red for the top coat. Uh, I've only got one can of that, so I'm going to end up having to go to the store here in just a minute anyway. But I want to get a coat of that on it so that it can start drying. And then, wow, my focus is way bad. Okay, there we go. Zoomed in a little. Sorry about that. But I'm going to see how far I can get with one can. 
set myself up a makeshift spray booth. I didn't do that before I sprayed that, so my floor's got all kinds of paint on it, but what do you do? It's a shop, it's a garage, it's fine. Well, putting on the respirator, spray what I have, go to the store and spray some more. Well, that could look worse. I'm not sure how. Can you say tiger stripes? Rawr! Holy cow. Well, luckily that's just the first coat and we're not going for perfection. We actually want it to look banged up, beat up, really old, whatever. But that used the better part of a, of a full can uh, just to get this far. I was about to open a drawer, I'm not gonna touch it. I'm gonna, I don't know how people resist the urge to touch fresh paint. I cannot keep my fingers off of it for some reason. So, it's a good opportunity for me to run to the store, pick up another can, throw down some more paint as soon as this is dry. Uh, it's pretty cold in here, it might take a while. But, I'm not in a hurry. This is uh, time I'm not spending at my desk. So this is therapeutic, this is great. Made it back from the big box store. Uh, I couldn't find any gloss apple red, but I found farm implement Troy built red. How could I not get that? So I did. Well, that didn't go as planned. I tried to spin the cabinet around. It's so sticky that it stuck to the wheels and then it went up and totally just attached itself to the front. We're talking clear from right there all the way down and just stuck to the front. So it's a really good thing that I'm gonna sand this down anyway, like just kind of rough it up. It just got a head start on it, but dang it. The, the stuff's so sticky it's sticking to the wheels, so I can't even roll it anywhere at the moment. This is not what I had planned. You know, sometimes I wish more of you had YouTube channels that I could learn from. Learn from your mistakes. You guys get to learn from a lot of my mistakes. Uh, I put the plastic back, well, I put some plastic back on the floor. This time I taped it down. Imagine that. So, I've only got one more side to paint. This is stupid. <laughs> feel like an idiot. Anyway, I'm gonna get this last side painted and then we're gonna let it dry probably overnight, 24 hours-ish. Uh, see if I can do a little sanding on it. Fix it up to tear it back down. That's perfect, let's do it.
So I absolutely love how this turned out. Take something that's, well, new to me and make it look like it's 80 years old. I like how those layers come through. In all the places that would be worn. Sorry, my shadows are right up there on it. I don't know if you can count how many colors come through there, but I absolutely love that. So next is to get the top back on it and drill some holes for mounting the stuff. There's the top right there. Get it back on, mount some power tools on it, and then get it set in place where it's gonna be. That's amazing. Planet Safe Lubricants. Link down below. Remember that bottom drawer that was hard to open? Yeah, I checked this out. After lubing that thing up with Planet Safe Lubricants aim. It's still not perfect, but it's way better than it was. That lubricant will penetrate and do its job. That is perfection. I don't think the camera does that thing justice. That thing literally looks like it's 80 years old with a bunch of wear and tear, a little bit of grease on it. it looks like it's been in a, in a shop for the last 80 years. Love it. It's fantastic. Just a little bit more finishing touches to put on this space and it'll be ready for use. Shops coming together. So guys, that's my method for doing like a, a fake patina or a faux patina paint job on what used to be a filing cabinet and is now deep tool storage. Uh, that's gonna come in super handy, get a bunch of stuff off of my workbench and back down hidden from sight and just kind of clean up the space. I love how that turned out. You guys could do something like this as well. Search Facebook Marketplace, any of the classified ad sites, those type of things that are in your local area and look for filing cabinets and look for one that's wide. Those uh, tend to work the best and look a little bit more like a toolbox and would look amazing in your shop with a little bit of work. Well, here I am with the finished product. This is Troy with DIY Home and Auto. Please like, share, subscribe, do all the things. I really appreciate it. It helps the channel out. Also ring that bell. I've got some other really cool uh, projects in the works 
and I appreciate you guys watching. I'm going to roll some before and after, so stick around for that, and then we'll see you guys in the next video.